Hey everyone and welcome to my channel, I'm Simon of Surgeries and I'm joined by Eowyn Ivy, whose new book, The Bright Edge of the World, have I said that right? <laughs> to the Bright Edge of the World, um, is out now and you shall buy it and I'm going to ask her ten tenuous questions about this book. Okay. Alan is off discovering Alaska, which country, apart from Alaska, would you like to discover for the first time? Oh my gosh, Tenuous. what a wonderful question. I would have to say Australia. I got to go there um, on tour and it just seems like this amazing country um, that in ways is similar to Alaska and I would love to see all the animals there and do, yeah, that would I've be I've never it. been to Australia. Oh. I feel like it could be my spirit home. Oh, you should go. You should absolutely well, go. Well, there's spiders. <laughs> well, that is a problem. Actually, <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> I don't want the spiders. I don't want I the spiders. I agree. <laughs> and what has been, because they're on a big, Alan is on a big adventure, what's been your biggest adventure? I have to say, the snow child, what, what, the adventures it took me on in terms of getting to come to the UK and go on tour and be, go to Australia, the entire um, element of the snow child taking me across the world has been the biggest adventure of my life. Yeah. And I should say, that's Eowyn's first novel, which oh. if you haven't read, you really should have, because if you follow me in any format, I have told you all to read it, so could you just <laughs> get on with it? Thank you very much. Alan and Sophie communicate through letters and they also keep diaries. Do you still write letters and do you keep a diary? I am a terrible letter writer and I've never really kept a diary. <laughs> so I wish that I wrote letters. Um, I'm just not patient enough. It takes too much. I don't know. So I want to write fictional letters instead. Okay. I don't know. I'm terrible at Fictional letter letters probably it's take more fun. quite a lot of time though. Yeah, but it's more fun. I always feel like in diaries and letters I'm just kind of recounting what I already know about my day and it's just kind of, oh, I don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> fictional letters are more fun. Yeah, I'm going to start are. just making up stuff. Yeah, you should. To people <laughs> you should do that. With a Absolutely. random name on the bottom. Absolutely. Um, the old man, mm -hmm. who is kind of the villain of the piece, mm -hmm. is really creepy and gothic. What is your favourite gothic story? Oh. Well, I think both Dracula and Frankenstein qualify, don't they you do? think? They do. Yeah, I would say both of those. I And I was actually really heavily influenced by both of them when I was writing. I just, um, yeah, I love both stories and they never get old for me. I've listened to them on audiobooks, I've read them over and again. Yeah, I love both those books actually. I've not read Frankenstein, I've read Dracula. Oh, and Frankenstein is so different. I found with both of them, they're so different than our cultural ideas of what they are. Oh really? Yeah, so it's really um, sort of enlightening to read them and realize that we've gotten it all wrong since then with all these movies and you know. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna and read Frankenstein because Eowyn told me to. <laughs> and don't, don't resent me if you really no, hate it. My mother would be furious. She's been telling me to read it for years and I'm going, oh. no, I'm not bothered. Well, it's not different bothered. when your mom tells you to do something, right? <laughs> um, Sophie has a love of birds. If you could be a bird, which bird would you be and why? I love this game. This is a game that actually my daughter and husband and I play a lot. There's quite a few more of these. Yeah, yeah, on. I love this. Okay, so my, I think we actually just had this conversation the other night and we decided, all of us in our family, that being an eagle would be really would be fantastic. Because cool. you've got this huge wingspan, you can fly a long ways and you're kind of fierce, so yeah. Our old next door neighbours owned a zoo and when they sold it, they moved next door and they brought their bald eagle with them. <gasps> they have a pet bald yeah, eagle? Yeah, Mr. Khrushchev. Wow, I think I'd be kind of scared. Is it fairly tame? No, he was pretty tame. He was in a massive cage, yeah, but, yeah. He's, but he's pretty tame. Wow, random, amazing. random as <laughs> Folklore, myths, and legends are all a huge part of the book, um, and fairy tale was a huge part of the Snow yeah, Child. Yeah. What is your favourite fairy tale? And why. Oh, this is so hard. You know what's funny about this is I think that you and Gav talked to me about this when we did the thing before and I stumbled then too. Because I think I'm one of these people that I'm all about just stealing art. There's a book about this, Steal Art, right? So it's all about what can I use right now to tell the story that I want to tell right now. So when I was doing the research for the new book, it was all about the Alaska Native mythology mm -hmm. and like these these mythology uh, system that's all about there being this no line between man and beast, between humans and animals. So I don't know what my next favorite fairy tale is going to be. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm constantly exploring and wanting to read new ones. Do you have a classic though that just I gets think, you? Yeah, I, I don't know. There was one called East of the Moon, West of the Sun. Do you know, know this one? one? Yeah, so this is one that I had a picture book of when I was a child um, and it's about this girl that goes on this quest and it's very wonderful. I think that's one of my favorites and it's a and it's a children's paperback form um, as a fairy tale. So mm. that. Yeah, East of the Sun, West of the Moon. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to look Okay, good. I'm going to look that Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, and also, we should say, if you're a big fan of fairy tale, which a lot of people on this channel will be, we have people that turn to otters, people that turn to geese, we have lake monsters, we've got all sorts of... There's a lot of fairy tale stuff going on, so that's another reason to read the book. Um, which animal would you turn into, speaking of people turning into animals? Well, this Not is a bird. <laughs> we've done no, birds. No, no, we've done birds. No, and, and again, my family just had this discussion, and crazy enough, because when you know what happens to the otter in the story, you would think this is a bad answer, but I'd want to be an otter. 
Really? Oh, After what you do to people who turn Well, you just got to gotta not have affairs or cheat, right? <laughs> So I love otters because they can swim and they're, I watched wild otters um, in Alaska and they are just, they're so playful and they break through the ice and dive and swim and they can run and yeah. I love you see, them. In, if you've read Eowyn's latest book, my answer is going to be a bit wrong because I would be a wolf. Oh, I would love to be a wolf. No, that was actually the one that my daughter picked. She really? wanted to be a wolf. Yeah. And they are so, so beautiful and powerful. And they're part of a pack, which is really a fascinating thing. Do you thing get too. snow leopards in Alaska? No, I wish See, I would have gone for that one, but oh, I can't because we're in Alaska and I'm not allowed. <laughs>